Hello. In the last couple of uh, uh, demos, I showed you how to take in observations and turn them into science. Now we're going to show you how to create science yourself. There's no reason you have to rely on the outside world. You can do it yourself. And to that end, we're going to go ahead and build ourselves a little rocket launching test facility. So we need some exterior spaces. So these are exterior spaces, even though they're bounded by walls. And then we're going to need some interior spaces. So these are interior spaces, even though they're bounded by walls. Put a light in. And I'll switch over to walls here. The wall editor, we can just delete some of these walls that we're not going to ever need. We don't need these walls. We don't actually need any walls at the moment. And then we'll delete these walls here. And then we're going to go ahead and add in some special walls, like a door, another door, some grills. Uh, how about some more grills? These look really nice when the sun comes through them, as you will see momentarily here. Whee! And lastly, but not leastly, we're going to want to switch over to facilities. Here we're going to put in some rocket launch pads and some uh, just some workshops. Uh, let's go ahead and put in a cubicle. We're going to need one of those. And a mail station. We're going to need one of those. And a water cooler. We don't need one of those, but we'll put it in anyway. And a desk. All right. So now all of our stuff is there, but none of it's doing anything. So to make it so that this will work OK, we need to link it up here in uh, assignment mode, which goes all cold and gray so that you can see what that is paused and that you need to work. Hook the workshops up to these rocket pads. Each, each workshop creates very small uh, one or two point materials tasks. Then larger workshops or better workshops would create bigger tasks, but for now that's the starting you know baseline. These collect up to four tasks and then turn it into a rocket launch, which produces a rocketry uh, observation. And that rocketry observation we will go ahead and send over to the cubicle. Now the cubicle will collate those observations, as you can see, call it and prep. And that means uh, putting together a, prim uh, a, a basic idea of what's related to what and how things will work. And that, in turn, will ha help pass over to our scientist at the desk here. We'll write a paper on the matter. Now, we could pass those papers straight to the scientist, but the paper he would, I mean, the observation is straight to the scientist, but the paper he would write would be really crap because he wouldn't have any idea of what this data meant. Uh, unless he spent a lot of time poring over it. So you generally always want to collate before you write a paper or a study uh, just so that you understand what's going on and get a good paper out of it. So now we'll switch back into run mode and we will let it run. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to see these work. And you can see that they're transferring the tasks into the rocket pad. And as we accelerate, you see two tasks, three tasks. And then once we get to four tasks, we'll see a rocketry launch happen. There we are. There's a rocket launch. And it's processing the rocket launch. And once that's processed, it'll go over here. There it is. And that gets processed. But the cubicle will wait until it has eight. So, and then when it's done, it passes that over here. And then this guy processes eight collated papers, eight collated observations, rather, and creates a paper out of it. Once that's done, he's going to send it to the mail desk. And you can see that the paper is significantly larger than the observations were. That was a size 19 paper, so our science points just went up to 19. But if we publish another size 19 paper, our science don't go up to 38, it just stays at 19 because the paper is the maximum score. So we're going to need to make more uh, better options here. Let's slow down. We don't need that much speed. We're going to need to, uh, uh, we want a higher, we want a better paper. We want at least 50 points of science. So to do that, let's go ahead and add in a little bit more workshop stuff. There we go. And instead of this guy sending out to the desk, let's have him send to this guy. And this guy gets sent to this guy, and this guy will send to this guy. OK, so I don't think I, that worked out there. There we are. So right now, this guy's colliding, this guy's colliding, this guy's colliding. That's kind of useless. You'll just get the same. You'll get This guy will get all of his papers in order, and then pass them to this guy still in order, and pass them to this guy still in order. That's useless. So what we want to do is we want to switch this over to a write study. Uh, writing a study will combine all of the observations in the very same way that writing a paper would do, except it's just like an, an, a, a, you know, a graduate student's study rather than a full paper. And so now, if we accelerate time again, go back into this mode and accelerate time, the next time our, um, uh, there we are, the next time we'll see that uh, we, our process is going to be much, much slower, but it's going to work out. So here we were writing a study in the middle of the uh, in the middle cubicle, and then we're going to pass a single study, and you can see that it's a much larger element than the previous ones were. 
and uh, and that's going to be invaluable in actually trying to publish a big paper. So once we build up eight of those studies and collate them properly for our science guy, we will end up. I'm just accelerating more and more in case you're wondering. I think we're maxed out at the acceleration. So one more of these studies, and we will have a paper worth writing. And you can see he's processing the paper. And he's got a lot more processing to do because each of these is larger. And that's why eventually you start to need computers and stuff because this is a, this would be a take forever to process if you had like a thousand point papers. And now this guy is mailing out the paper. And once it's mailed out, let's see whether we got 50 points. Yes, size 61.6. So that's how we do it. And this has been a very, very quick overview into how this sort of thing works. It doesn't... Um, it doesn't get into things like these actually need to have a um, fuel facility adjacent to them or a couple of other details that aren't implemented yet that make actually building the base complicated. This is just the way that the data flows. Uh, the actual complexity of building the base hasn't yet been put in, but it will be.